Good morning, and this video is sponsored by Max Two Twine, Bailing Twine for the Bailing Man. Well, not really. I just figured I would stick that out there to see how much criticism I got. But no, really, you can probably try this out and be very, very happy. I know I'm going to, and I will let you know if I'm happy or unhappy. That's how I work. So, but anyways, check them out. You might find a fit. All right, it's a crazy busy day today. Um, my day started at five o'clock, not really super early, but five o'clock this morning. I had to wait till seven to get a phone call into the fertilizer plant where I ordered, oh, 33 tons, 33 tons of fertilizer. I will go over my soil tests and what we have devised or have decided will work for this um, corn program that I have. Um, they are looking at 670 pounds of this dry fertilizer to the acre. Sounds like a lot, right? Yeah, it is. Because the former farmer on that farm just didn't do what he should have he was just mining the ground and I hate it when they people do that they mine the ground now when I grow mulch hay I really don't put a I just maintain I don't really put anything soil building nutrients or anything into the uh, into the uh, soil but I do maintain it so that when I am ready to put something different in I will actually have the uh, I will actually have the uh, nutrients there and it won't be such a big hit on the wallet 670 pounds it's gonna cost me hundred and sixty dollars an acre just for the uh, the fertilizer the uh, the blend uh, then they then I put another seventy dollars worth of nitrogen down already just to grow this crop. It's nuts. It's nuts. So, anyhow, I'm going to hook this bad boy up. I need to really, I need to shut the gate. Apparently, I didn't get the last 10 pounds of, oh my God. That's enough to drive a man nuts, that thing. I mean, I hate that. Oh, so. What do you do? You do this. You grab this guy. Here, watch, watch this. This is the nut fucker. Take the nut fucker. Nut fucker. Ah, oh, come on, nut fucker. Oh. Now, on these spreaders, this is something you really want to do. Um, make sure your chain is off of the drive, make sure your gate is closed. If you don't, and you gotta make sure that you're on the high speed side on this one in order for it to, uh, in order for it to put down the amount that you want to put down. Now, I'll go over this real quick. I know I'm gonna be waiting in line up there. It really kind of annoys me, but it's okay. Okay, 231313 s okay. That's what it is requiring. So when we put this on per ton, per acre, per acre, oh my God, is this lens that bad? I think I got oil or something on, is that better? Um, I gotta get a new camera lens. Uh, this is what the blend is, it's gonna be, what is that, 155, 90, 90, 24 sulfur, and we need, Yeah, the boron, yeah, 265 pounds dry, yeah, that's not bad, so this is the, this is the cost of this, that's what it'll cost per acre, right there, that's the cost per ton, uh, yeah, fertilizer per acre. 157.91 but then they add the uh, boron into it and we're good there so that's what this is costing now I know there's probably people screaming what are you doing what are you doing with that damn corn herbicide like that or that corn like that you're crazy corn ain't worth everything why are you bothering 
Well, I have an outlet for the fodder. The fodder, you know? And uh, when you have an outlet for the fodder, that will pay for the rest of it. That's why I'm doing it. I mean, even if I only get $2.75 a bushel for the corn, uh, I'll still make out. So, uh, not that I'm excited about that, believe me. I am not at all excited about that. But anyway, I gotta back this piece of shit up so I can get it to where I need it to go. Cause I gotta go all the way up to the fertilizer plant. Timothy is coming and he is going to can you believe that? I think I'm dead center. Well, maybe, maybe not. See how lousy a job I did. Awful! Look at that. In what thing? Up in the front where it'll like a big Oh, yeah, set. yeah, no, no, no. There should be a plate. I thought there was a plate up there. Anyway, oh, look at the pretty colors. We got ammonium sulfate, ESN, urea, DAP, MAP, whatever else is in there. Oh, and boron. So, yeah, so that's it. First of 33 tons to go on here today. Hopefully tomorrow I will be planting this place. Hopefully. Anyway, Tim, get that thing backed up here. You got a hit pin, right? Yeah, spreader's doing pretty good. Um, tires are warm. And I've got a, this shit's only 58 pounds. I can only put 600 pounds of the acre on here. At five inches. Oh. At five inches. So. Hmm. Well, let's say we average that. Let's do five and a half inches. I'd say five and a half inches then. Yeah. Do five and a half inches. I think that'll do it. Let's see. I got how many thousand pounds in there? And I can pick it up. That's the balance of this thing. No, I'm not kidding you. That thing is freaking... Watch this. I'm so strong. Got that hitch pin? Good. There's always a good thing to do. I guess jack is optional, huh? These are safeties, no. kid yeah I could probably I'm gonna have to do some math here to figure this out it's 58 pounds 600 so it's 20 pounds there's really no rhyme or reason to that two and a half inches is three inch is three 330 and then we go with a half is 360 so 300 to 60 an extra half an inch so uh, 20, then that's 80 pounds to a half an inch. And then there's 20 to a half, to an inch. That makes no fucking sense. For, oh yeah, no, 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 it does make sense. So that's 120 pounds to an inch. 360 to 420. 420 to 480 and a half an inch so 125 yeah we're good we're gonna go at five and a half inches then and that's why they don't do five and a half inches why? because it leaks out that's why because it leaks out all right well they're coming with a truck come over here, right? No. Yeah, they're going to come with a tender and they'll... Finally, things are happening. Finally. All right, we're going to get this dried up. I'm thinking tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, is our planting day. <coughs> um, we're going to... He's going to have to go over this twice. 
I'm going to finish these fields here up. Uh, those guys just came with fertilizer, and they're going to come back a couple more times. I'm just going to go home, load up with the loader, and come here because they're not allowing me to tender here in the field. We're not allowing the guys to stick around to tender me in the field. Tendering meaning they stick around and fill my cart every time it's empty. That's not allowed to happen right now. I don't know why. Okay, cool. This tractor is very aggressive on the PTL. It just goes on and off, which is pretty tough for the uh, for the spreader. I think I've stretched the uh, I think I stretched the uh, uh, the belt doing that. So what I'm going to do next time I go to shut the spinners off is I'm going to idle the tractor down and try to save that. But anyway, I am entering the field that I'm working in, and I got halfway across it. Well, you can see it all down there. I will definitely show you what it looks like when, uh, yeah, I'll show, show you what it looks like when I'm, uh, I'm done. And before Timothy hits it with that big old disc, he's flying. I think 530 is pulling that disc across pretty quick. So anyway, all right, I'm coming up on my line. I got some wavy lines there for some reason. I got to make sure my GPS is working correctly. And it is. Come on, work, huh? Now, oh, let me double check things before I get going. All right, I guess we're farming. <laughs> oh, there's the Fort the 8530s over there. Jim's putting the. Uh, I've got the fertilizer on. This ground is almost ready to go. Tomorrow on Tuesday, I'm ready to plant. I'll be planting tomorrow. Uh, Joe's going to come over with the roller harrow and roll this stuff down. I have rocks that are in the way. I wouldn't normally do that for corn. I would just let it settle, but because I'm going to be cutting the, uh, the corn fodder off of here, I want it nice and level and the clods beat down to nothing. And uh, that's it. We're going to roll it in, roll it down, and the corn planter should work pretty good then. I think it looks pretty good. He needs to learn how to pick up the disc on the corners, though. He's making ridges. I don't want ridges. I hate ridges. It's not soybeans, but I still hate ridges. Looking stuff. There's a whole mishmash of crap in there. Onion sulfate, urea, ESN, MAP DAP, and what else? Oh, boron. That's what's in there. It's a waxy kind of material. It slings it really far, too. I was quite surprised. We really chucked it. By the end of the day, I'll have 33 tons of this shit put on. That's a little bit. Okay, I'm sorry for the wind noise, but it's windy here. This ground is... <laughs> I'm going to be planting corn tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. Unless I post this tonight, it'll be the day after tomorrow. But Tuesday, I'm planting corn. Um, fertilizer's on. 672 pounds of what was that 23 13 13 3 with boron and i put 20 gallons of 32 percent so that is times 110 220 pounds of that 220 pounds of that so that'd be another 60 almost 70 units of nitrogen there with copper sulfate and I'm going to plant this corn tomorrow, and then the day after that, I'm going to go ahead and put in, I'm going to spray my herbicide, because Wednesday afternoon we're supposed to get rain. Not a lot, but enough. And I'm going to go ahead and put the herbicide down. 
Got people looking at me thinking I'm crazy, but I'm just outstanding in my field. <laughs> yeah, outstanding in my field. So, Timothy's moving at rocket speed with that disc and that 8530. He's making some He's making some ridges here that I'm not too thrilled about, but you know, job's got to get done. Joe's coming with the column alter or the 14-foot uh, roller harrow. He's smashing these things down in the ground. Because if I don't smash these down in the ground, well, that wasn't so bad, but this one will be. Uh, they'll just uh, they'll just play hell on my on my uh, what do you call it? On my shredder when I go to shred these corn stalks. Well, he's doing pretty good. He'll be here pretty much half the night. I'm going to go get this thing here hooked up to a corn planter so I can get planting. I might even start tonight, but I don't think i got time. Anyway, you're going to see clouds. It's going to be real cloudy. I'm sorry about the quality. I have to leave the lens on. Oh, uh, yeah. So, this is what... And you won't even be able to see it entirely, but... This is what 670 pounds of fertilizer looks like scattered across the ground. It's like a rainbow of fun. Anyway, Timothy's working it in. Uh, it's a little bit damp to work, but we're trying to, we're gonna break, we're just breaking this open and it'll dry right out. I mean, it is, it is just ripe. Uh, that sun, we get another hour or two of sun on this thing. The wind is blowing pretty good. And with Joseph up there doing that, it is just turning to dust. I'm going to try and get him to slow down a little bit, though, because he's going too fast. That is not a turbo till. <laughs> he's going nine, 8 mile an hour. Um, he's got to slow it down about 6. And then I'll be a little happier with him. Because it's doing an awesome job, but he's making ridges. And it's going to be a pain in the ass for Joe to get it all straightened out. And he won't be able to straighten it all out with one pass, I don't believe. So, let me get him stopped. Yeah, that tractor just doesn't care. He could pull this disc at 10 mile an hour if he wanted. See how you're throwing that? You see how you're throwing that? And there he goes. He's gonna feel like he's crawling now, but that's where these discs are made to run. Not, they're not made to run eight, 10 miles an hour. They're made to run about five or six miles an hour. And he's making ridges with it and it's not, not his fault, I should have just had him with the 4960 on there, but we really wanted to get it all knocked over uh, and done. So that's a Ballers. That's a Ballers truck. I gotta go visit with them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, the ground looks good. I mean, you can't see any of the fertilizer once he gets over it. So it is where it needs to be. And that's that. I'm gonna call this video done. Stick a fork in it. It's Got some done. real interesting comments this morning. One is from Marshall Burkima. Is 2,4-D safe to drink? Well, you can probably safely drink it. What it does to you after you drink it might not be desirable. Don't do that. Don't do that. You don't want to drink any agricultural chemical. They are in super high concentrated forms, whether it's uh, Tordon, which they claim to be safe to drink, or any of this other stuff like Roundup, which is a salt. Uh, don't drink it. They're highly concentrated. They will fuck you up. Jason Katara says, this is really super boring. Cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it so much that you uh, were bored. I mean, 90% of my viewers, 99% of my viewers are bored out of their mind every day. Oh, wait a minute. Bored or excited to watch? You were so excited you commented. It was awesome. Thanks for being here. NH Farm, how much do we need to get you to fix that mirror? LOL. 
I don't know what mirror you're talking about. I really don't. There's no mirror that bothers me enough to even worry about. But if you want to send me money, send it to... No, don't do that. You don't need to send me money. I'll just leave the mirror where it is. If somebody anonymously buys me a set of brand new John Deere mirrors, then go right ahead. I'll put them on. Tim H. Get a diaphragm pump. Cheap to rebuild. Those hardy pumps are diaphragm pumps. <laughs> they are. And they are far, 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 far from cheap to rebuild. Trust me, I know. Crumb 43. Do you have your pilot's license? I'm getting mine here at the beginning of June. No, I used to fly without one. Yeah. I, I, I just... No, I don't have a pilot's license, but I, I miss flying. Yeah. Um, I've flown without a pilot's license or any formal training. I'm a risk taker. And I don't think there's too many people that can live to tell the story. But I did have a pilot in the seat next to me all the time. Um, I, I used to fly all the time. It was fun. And uh, unfortunately, that pilot was my uncle and he was killed when a uh, air traffic controller that was high on cocaine, very high on cocaine and other barbiturates, uh, launched another airplane, allowed another airplane to take off while he was coming in for a landing. And yeah, I think I've told the story before. He was killed mid-air collision. Not his fault. Not his fault at all. You can look that up on the NTSB uh, website. It was November uh, November 2nd, uh, 2002. N216 Charlie Lima was the airplane, and you can read all about it. NTSB website. Check it out. N216CL. N216 Charlie Lima. Sam Lay says, Teresa's the reason I get out of bed in the morning. Actually, no, she's the reason I get into bed at night. But, uh, yeah, that's just the way it is. And this is the last comment for the day, I guess. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about copper sulfate, but that's it. Uh, copper sulfate can be used for many different things. Foot fungus, uh, fungus on wheat. If you have wheat and you need to get that under control, spray copper sulfate. That is a natural fungicide. Fungicide and things like that um yeah so there you go thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe don't forget max twine too max two twine what is this i think it's the uh the armando alvarez group has, is a big spanish uh company that makes plastic agricultural plastics they contacted me and to be honest with you they said i'm gonna send you a couple of pallets of twine to try on your straw job and we want you to give us your brutally honest opinion so that's the type of company that I'm willing to uh, to support now as you know there are no United States plastic companies that make twine in the United States most of them are made in Portugal uh, most of them in Portugal which is right next to Spain and uh, yeah there you go Brazilian twine as well, but that's usually Cecil. Uh, there are American companies that contract these other companies to make their twine, but I'm going to give this Armando Alvarez group a chance with a couple of pallets of twine in the straw job. We'll put them side by side to the twine that I will be using and have good faith in, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens.